Dragonflight, classic hardcore, Season of Discovery, Cataclysm, and soon Mr. Pandaria, and later this year, War Within. If you ever wanted to come back home, now's the time. So many different ways to play this game and so many different styles, each of their own nuances. Retail's healthy. Dragonflight has been a really good expansion and War Within is look looking to be amazing also, coming out later this year with their three expansion story arc. Retail has so many different things to do, but you don't have to do them. You can do what you want and then leave and come back later. But you can spend all of your time in retail and never see the different versions of the game out there. From raids, Mythic Plus, Arena, and BGs, Transmog and mount hunting, pet collecting and battles, making alt after alt if you're an altaholic, or just exploring the expansion that is Dragonflight. But there is so much to do in, Dragon, in Dragonflight and in retail that you can you can keep yourself pretty much busy enough just just in retail alone. Classic. Cla classic is your walk back in time mode. Go back to when the game first came out, or in this case, after several patches, and relive the good old days. Or if you just started later in a while, like, you know, you started in Draenor or Battle for Azeroth, you can go see how the game is different from what it is currently. It is, you know, it is a low population on all servers, um, mostly because of the other classic versions taking away from it. But it's still, you know, you can still come and have some fun, check out, see what the game was like when it first came out, and then move on to something else or stay here. I've got friends who this is all they play. They play classic and they play like currently Wrath of Lich King. And they just do the raids. They log on, they do the raids, they go do other stuff. Next mode is Hardcore. For some, Hardcore is a blast. I'm one of those. I love Hardcore. I was uh, always wanted a version of WoW where dying had major consequences. Uh, it reminds me a lot of EverQuest. Granted, EverQuest, you if you died, you lost XP. And if you had just leveled or with EverQuest, it was... You didn't... When you died, you weren't a ghost. When you died, you respawned... As yourself, you were just naked, and you had to get back to your body to get your stuff. And sometimes you died a lot getting your, you know, <laughs> re-getting your, your gear. And in that case, you could also, you could honestly, uh, honestly de-level. Hardcore though, you die, you die, you're done. You lose everything. And I love that little extra bit of suspense with the game. It's not, it's, uh, it's kind of like PvP, where, you know, you can die at any time. But in this case, there are major consequences if you die. But like Classic, the servers are low on population. But honestly, if, you, if you're doing self-found self -found mode, which for those who don't know what self-found mode is, basically you are just... Actually, let's check to see what's around this corner, if there's anything. Nope, there's nothing. nothing. If you... Um, you only get the... You can only use the gear that you find or you get from a quest... That's it. You can't use the auction house. You can't use the bank. So you are on your own. So it doesn't really matter if you, if it's a low pop server with self self found mode, which is one reason why it does low pop doesn't really bother me that much on the hardcore modes, on the hardcore hardcore servers. But um, but try it out. I mean, you might not like it. Most people don't. But it is a fun little experience just to try for a little bit and, and see how far you can get. Honestly, most people most people don't get past level 20, <laughs> let alone um, get all the way to 60. But there's only two servers, so and with only two servers that you see people, it's not that it's not that dead. But it is definitely low, it's definitely low pop on most days. Then you've got Season of Discovery. Season of Discovery has been an incredible breath of fresh air. It's it's been like basically like putting a fresh coat of paint on an old car. Looks brand new and fun as hell to drive. I've been having a total blast with uh, Season of Discovery, and currently it's my most played mode. I just I'm just honestly I'm playing a lot. I'm kind of playing different alts. Currently I'm playing a I finished up a dru my druids at 50. I'm now playing a shaman. I'll probably do a mage after that. And with 150% XP buff up to level 39. And then from 40 to 50 is 100%. Leveling is going by fast. So if, so if you ever were wondering about Season of Discovery, of if you ought to play it or not, 
give it a shot. You'll level quickly. You'll catch up quickly. And it is, there's enough different things going on in the game that has not been in the game before that is keeping it interesting. Uh, the populations are really good to the fact of some servers are actually locked because there's too many people on them. Uh, unfortunately for the RP servers, they're closing down as far as US goes, they're closing down one. And uh, Chaos Bolt's still going to be around, but uh, Lava Lash is going down. And on EU servers, uh, Chaos Bolt and Lava Lash are being closed. Just not enough, just not enough people on them for a healthy server. Cataclysm Classic just came out and it's been, it's really been fun to revisit. Uh, right now it's in pre-patch. Uh, it'll be going live on May 20th. So not too far from now, about nine, about nine days. But it's been, it's been really fun revisiting Kazan and Gildneas. I still wish, I know in retail, they've been, you know, liberating. They've been liberating Gildneas. Technically, I don't think we really ever saw Kazan blow up. I mean, the volcano was going off, but it would be kind of interesting to maybe revisit Kazan because I love that freaking island. That island was awesome. I would love to see the goblins reclaim that as their as their hometown instead of Bridgewater Cartel. They just Bridgewater Cartel is cool. They just didn't seem to do much with it. So, but there's a lot of stuff for the goblins that they didn't do anything with, like the the golf course and the pleasure palace that's in Ashara. That's up on top of the, one of the uh, one of the mountains. It would have been really nice if they would have uh, done a little bit more with that. That should have been kind of like if you've if you've ever played uh, oh if you've ever played Final Fantasy fourteen and gone to the uh, the gold with the golden compass or the golden golden something. I think it might be golden compass but um where you're there's like game gambling and stuff like that i mean you don't win anything of note it's not like real money or anything that's what they should have made uh the pleasure palace as it should have been it should have been like that but yeah but it's going to go it goes live on the 20th but right now you get to play with goblins play with wargs you got the new you got the new lands so you get to mess with that you get to once again, try to figure out how the hell to get to Southern Barrens from Northern Barrens, which is, uh, which was always when it first came out was always a pain in the butt. And, uh, I'll be honest, I've got to refigure out how to do that. But other than that, that's, uh, that's that for cataclysm, but it should be fun. It's, you know, it's going off a of Lich King. So if you've been playing Burning Crusade classic Lich King classic, you've got all your stuff. I didn't, so I'm kind of behind the curve on this. But it's going to be fun exploring with Cataclysm. I'm actually making a couple of new characters. I'm going to level from 1 all the way up to 85. And which will let me go through Burning Crusade again. Let me go through Lich King again. And then catch up with Classic. So so it will be, it'll be pretty fun. It'll be a fun little experience. But then it's off to the next... Uh, version of WoW that we're going to be playing. And last but not least, we got the Mist of Pandaria remix, which starts in, I believe, five days. It starts out on May 16th, so this will be fun to revisit Pandaria. This is not a classic version. This is a remix version from what, from kind of everything I've, I've read about it and seen. It's going to be a little bit like a uh, season almost like a season of discovery, but for retail. So it's going to be Miss of Pandaria, but there's going to be some different things. There's going to be some different raids. There's going to be some different rebuilds. Um, some, just some different things in the game that, is, that is not currently, if you went back to like a Pandaria classic, uh, you would not, you wouldn't see, but it should be pretty amazing. Pandaria was always one of the prettiest expansions in WoW. So I'm looking really forward to seeing the changes they come up with and just revisiting this gorgeous, um, this gorgeous expansion that was out between the music, the scenery, just everything was just so gorgeous on this thing. So I'm looking really forward to it, especially since I was actually taking a break in WoW when this came out. Um, I really wasn't that, I wasn't initially 
enthused about Pandaria. It wasn't because of the pandas. I was just, I think I was just needing to take a break. So, you know, took my break and was playing like Star Wars Old Republic and Guild Wars 2. Came back towards the end of it and I just, it, I kicked myself in the butt because this thing was so freaking gorgeous that I was so pissed off that I missed, that I missed out on playing this thing fully from, from start to finish. But yeah, so at least I want to get it another chance. I'm going to enjoy that. But there you go, everybody. So, so yes, if you're an old player thinking of coming back or a new player thinking of trying it out, now is definitely the time to jump back into the world of Azeroth and enjoy the game however you want. I know I'm enjoying several versions currently. I'm currently playing classic. Honestly, I'm playing pretty much every version, I think. Well, okay, I'm not playing classic, classic. But I'm playing hardcore, so playing classic and hardcore. Playing Season of Discovery, playing Cataclysm, and I'm playing retail. And when Miss of Pandaria come out, comes out on the 16th, I will be playing that version also. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's not like every day I play every version. It's kind of basically, you know, what tickles my fancy at the moment of which, uh, which version I'm playing. Right now, I'm playing a lot of Season of Discovery uh, because pre-patch is pre-patch for Cataclysm. Miss Pandaria is not out, so I'm enjoying playing alts on Season of Discovery. And then, uh, then I do hardcore off and on. But yeah, when Pandaria comes out, I'll definitely be playing Pandaria, Pandaria a lot. So, you know, come on in. The water's fine. I highly, if you're an old WoW player or a new WoW player, I highly recommend it. Uh, I'll probably do some other videos on which one I would recommend to start with. Like, especially if you're a new player, what, what you know, what I would recommend to start with uh, would probably surprise you. But, yeah, but here we go. But if you like this video, remember, give it a like. And if you have not subscribed yet, I do one to three videos a week, plus live stream on YouTube and Twitch from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll leave a link below for, for Twitch. And don't forget to click that bell so you can be sent notifications when new stuff comes out. But have a great day, everybody, and peace out. Love y'all. Bye.